Alina, thank you very much for the words. Thank you very much for being patient enough to listen to us. But I'd like, as a part of the responsibility of the former presidents, I'd like to address the challenge of presenting new paradigms, new utopies. I think our continent is experiencing all these problems due to lack of paradigms and utopies. If there is an inheritance that we must give or or a, or a message is the utopia is to try to seek new horizons. We can give them new paradigms. And I want to say that the first time I was invited to this sort of event, which was organized by the Global Peace Foundation and the Institute of Desired Country, I said to Brazil that had the same issues, things are working in a way that both the extraordinary ad, uh, scientific advancement and technological advancement and the values that the economy is giving us about competitiveness, the safety issues, security issues uh, that are generating wars, for example, now in the Middle East, I was saying that we are affecting the values of humanity. I'm saying that all the values are being taken into account, are not being taken into account. And I'm saying that I'm not losing the hope that even though there is bad use of technology uh, and there is also bad use of spiritual values. I was saying that I expect that the 21st century can be the century where that love can be the cutting edge technology. And when I say love, utopia, it's because this is one of the most transcendental values th that we have. I think everyone that's here, we're all believers, or at least most of you. And I think that our belief, our moral uh, perception of love, it's important. Now, of course, the problem is that Love it should be the cutting edge technology, and we have to make the 21st century see that. The problem is that love. We know how it affects human relationships, for example, in couples. We know how uh, love can be, can affect uh, the religion. But what doesn't exist is how love can be set in the political development, economical development, and social development of a country and a nation. And I have to tell you that I try to seek the help of a Bolivian young one who gave his life for uh, the Bolivian democracy. His name was Pasamora, who died when he was 25 years old. He was my brother. He was like a brother. And in his writings, I found a concept, and I'd like to say this to, the, uh, to this meeting. I found a concept that says it's necessary that we build around us space 
kind spaces. So the concept of kind space is introduced. What I mean by this is how can we make that our society be turned into a kind space? How can we turn our city into a kind space? For example, discrimination, poverty, that goes against a kind space. The lack of citizen rights, that goes against this concept. A policy that's n against the environment, that also goes against the kind space concept. So I would say that what was said in the French Revolution, liberty, freedom, fraternity, I think there was a huge development in the aspects of how to create freedom. But the French Revolution did not how to did not know how to address uh, the fraternity issue, which in the end has to do with love. So what I would like to propose here is a paradigm. How do we make the love be the center of this of our societies, and how do we create kind spaces? Let's move the debate. Nowadays we're debating, at least in Latin America, we're debating that if the state should be the center of development or maybe the free market, why don't we say, let's try to make kind spaces and make sure that love and everything that comes out of it will be done to organize education, health, equality, tolerance, and to organize all our citizens' lives. It, it, it sounds a lot like an, an utopia, but we should feed the utopias in our continent in a, in a more global way. This is not something I'm making up. This is a young man who blew himself up for freedom, for democracy. And I found this concept among some of his writings. The obligation, the duty of creating around us um, kind spaces. And I think that's important. I think that's a huge change. This is what I would like to tell the meeting of former presidents. Thank you very much, Mr. President. I'd like to